Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is a video that I said I would make for you guys uh, earlier on the when I did the review on the uh, Ranger uh, OTF knife. So I've already got the uh, six screws um, loosened up, and you'll need a T8 Torx bit for that. So you can just go ahead and lift this piece off here, set that aside, and you can see. You know, it's just a cast piece of aluminum. You can see where it's probably injection molded through here. Just a simple piece of aluminum. So, right there it is. Looks pretty crazy, yeah? So, I'll try to show you how this all works. You know, this is your actuation button here, your slider. And when you slide this forward, this whole section here with these two springs slides forward as well. And this little lip down here trips this uh, catch, which is what is holding the uh, blade back. So when that, when this whole section moves forward, it'll trip that. Pushing this downward, this little black piece here is uh, spring-loaded. And it uh, just goes ahead and lets the uh, blade fly forward. And it's a similar m mechanism up here underneath, and I'll go ahead and show that now. So we'll set that aside. Lift this off. So this is your tripping mechanism that'll push this locking piece down. And it allows the blade to fly out. Just set that there. So right now, you know, it's it's still locked. You can't get that blade out unless this piece would come up and uh, press that down. And then it allows the blade to go ahead and fly out. And it's coming out. See that locking mechanism is, is coming into play now. So it's coming out. And then it trips back down. So it's locked out now. Now your blade is totally locked out. And when you would pull this uh, mechanism back, it would also trip up underneath here, allowing this to come back. And you've got these, uh, sp the springs are actually captured on this little pin right here. So as you're applying pressure, it's pulling that back, applying pressure, and then you get to a certain point and it'll trip that locking mechanism, allowing your blade to come back. We can go ahead and remove the blade now. Just a simple pin. Get that out, yep, yeah, just like that. And then the whole blade will come out. And if you've seen my other video, you'll notice that I said um, that, you know, there's kind of a flaw with this knife, is that this locking mechanism actually rides on the top of this blade when it slides in and out. So this top portion of the blade from about here to here, this whole section is just completely roughed up and dull due to the fact that it's sliding on that locking mechanism right there. Every time it actuates, it's rubbing on it. So, we can go ahead and put our pin back in, just like that. Allow our blade to come back. Put this mechanism in there. Okay. We'll go ahead and put this piece up. Kind of got to hold it all together while you're putting it together. So, I oh, didn't get it. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and remove this pocket clip because it makes it a lot easier to just lay it on the table without that being there. Hold that there. Bring this in. Drop it in. Whew. Still didn't get it. There we go. Getting held up by that thing. Slip in behind that blade. There we go. 
got it. Kind of a delicate procedure. So there it's all squeezed together. I'm just going to hold it together. Now I'll go ahead and actuate it for you. Just like that. So if you can kind of visualize on what's going on here um, on the inside, um, it's a pretty complex process. I tried to make a, um, a clear side for this so I could actually show you guys, um, but it ended up just being a little bit too difficult and it. I got to work a little bit, but not like how I wanted, so I didn't think it was a uh, video quality. So um, I hope that answered some questions on how these uh, interesting blades operate. You know, this one here, it's just kind of a play thing for me. You know, it's nothing serious, but, uh, you know, as you can see, it does have some blade play. Um, but most OTFs will have this. Uh, in fact, all of them, in, in order to um, allow that blade to spring out, it has to have some play in it. So. But I hope that answered your guys' questions, and uh, thanks a lot.